Hello everyone and welcome to your channel. Google has just released yet another variant of their Gemini 1.5 model. This time they have come up with a smaller model in 8 billion size. It is a closed source model which means that you can only access it through their AI studio or through API. You cannot install it locally. This model seems quite faster, cheaper and quite performant and the all the benchmarks which I will also show you shortly point to the fact that the model's quality is quite good. This release really heralds a new advancement in efficient AI designed for high volume multimodal applications and long context summarization tasks. In this video, we are going to not only have a look at what exactly this model is but we will also be trying it out on various benchmarks. Before I proceed further, Allow me to give a huge thanks to our good friends at AgentQL. AgentQL is a query language that turns any web page into a data source. And this video is sponsored by AgentQL. With its Python SDK and live debugging tool, you can scrape and interact with web content using AgentQL. Coming back to our Gemini 1.5 flash 8 billion, Let's have a quick look at some of the benchmarking information which seems quite interesting. So you see, uh, one of the benchmarks which I really rate very high is this MMLU which is a multilingual multiple choice question answering. And this pro benchmark evaluates language understanding and reasoning across multiple language. If you look at the performance of this 8 billion parameter model and if you compare it to the previous version of the same, you will see this one has quite a good performance especially when it comes to just the number of parameters which is quite less similarly on other ones like this natural to code which is a benchmark for code generation and program synthesis that assesses the ability to translate natural language to code and that one is quite good too Similarly, math is okay, I mean not bad at all, but we know that these 8 billion and less models are not that good at math at all. And uh, GPQA is not good, so reasoning doesn't seem it's forte at the moment. But if you look at the long context and MMMU, which is a multilingual multimodal understanding seems quite good. Whereas for Vibe Eval, which is a benchmark for visual common sense reasoning that evaluates models ability to understand visual and textual context seems quite good to me. And then similarly, one of the interesting benchmark which I just came across, this is XS test, which is a cross lingual sentiment analysis benchmark that evaluates models ability to recognize sentiment across multiple languages and on that one its performance is quite good for an um, 8 billion parameter model that is quite an interesting find for me other than that this looks quite cool the whole model because not only it has got a good performance but on smaller prompts its latency is quite low also google it's a paid option it is for still for free but i think from 14th of october there will be some pricing on it but the pricing is very cheap. It is 50% lower uh, as compared to the previous versions of it. And I think it just cost 0 0.01 cents per million tokens for a cached prompts, which is quite good. Okay, so let's try it out on various benchmarks and see how it works. If you also want to use it for free, just go to aistudio.google.com and you should be able to uh, access this model for free at the moment through the studio or through the API. So once you are there and you are signing in with your Google account that is free account on the right hand side click on this model drop down and from here you can select the models. And yes I know it's very confusing that there is a 1.5 pro pro flash and all that stuff 8 billion so make sure that you select this 8 billion one as I have done. And then you can set some of the hyperparameters, whether you want code execution, uh, function calling and all that stuff. There are also some other safety settings and then some other hyperparameters to control the output. But let's keep everything to their default. Let's try out uh, on some of the stuff there. So I'm just going to ask it which letter appears most in the word volleyball. Let's click on run here. You see the latency is just 0.9 second for this one it says it appears 
l appears most frequently that is correct but it it has got it wrong it appears it says it appears three times whereas in volleyball it appears four times okay that is fine um, let's see if it can do the audio so i'm just going to uh, click here and then upload you know maybe an audio or maybe i'll just record an audio how is that okay let me do that let me click here it has opened another account uh, pop-up window for me which you can't see because of my obs studio let's wait for it okay let's see i think i'm not sure if it is able to do my audio or not let's try again okay so i'm clicking on this i'm allowing my microphone hello i'm just trying to test the audio capabilities of this model can you tell me how many r's are there in the word strawberry so i have added it to the prompt where is it okay there you go so it is just putting it here let's do it i'll just say transcribe this audio ex extract the text and use it as a prompt and answer accordingly and then click on run here look at the latency there you go it says i'm just trying to test the audio can you tell me how many hours so of course it's my accent it says there is no meaningful answer to these questions i'll just say sorry i said how many r's are there in word strawberry okay let's check it out now so at least it was able to count it properly okay let's see how many z's are there in strawberry let's see if it can do that okay that is good so you see all in all its comprehension its latency is quite cool it's multimodal let's try to see maybe i'll just uh, upload a sample media maybe an image from my local system can i do that okay this just going with the samples i'll just say this what is in the middle of this dish let's see if it is able to detect anything it is processing it it says that in the center of the dish is a block of feta cheese which is a type of salty white cheese and it is surrounded by roasted cherry tomatoes very nice now if you want to use your own image all you need to do is to click on plus sign and then click on upload to drive so when you will click it it will take you to this screen where you can upload any image from your local system to, to this google drive and from there you will use it in your prompt so let me do that so in this next one i'm just trying to see how it does with ocr so there is an english text there is an hindi text and i'm asking it just extract hindi text out of this image nothing else just hindi text so let's run it let's see how it does it there you go you see it has just extracted hindi text and then it has even translated it in the um, pink hindi so which is just it has properly translated it quite good but i would wish that it won't even print this so maybe if i just say uh, don't translate this no commentary just in the text let's see if it is able to follow the instruction there you go it does so we just have to play around with our prompt to make sure what we are doing here and now this is a hard one so i have given it this image of a location and i am asking it where is this location and what is it think hard before answering and try your best to answer correctly now so far i have tested out dozens and dozens of image models and not a single model has been able to answer it correctly because this is such uh, it's not that well known location 
um, it is a very very important one it is uh, from the gandhara civilization this is uh, the thing which in the center is called as stupa this is from the buddhist very very ancient gandhara civilization which is in in this location is a present day pakistan a very small city called as texla which is i guess um 40 minutes from its capital pakistan's capital this location is present day texla and this is a stupa from gandhara buddhist civilization so let's see if it model is able to answer it i'm just running it amazing amazing okay look i am really spellbounded it says the location is texla pakistan it's an ancient city and at a unesco world heritage site the image shows the ruins of the city including various structures and a large mound typical of ancient settlement in the region and then you can ask it what this mound is called and what it signifies so let's see look at the time yeah it's a circup mound it's a part of the ancient city and then it it says that it's not definitely known it likely served as significant feature how old this mound would be let's check it out second century bce or to the first century ce amazing stuff anyway so look uh, i think real good stuff with the model and finally uh, let's have a quick coding test because i'm sure you are going to ask it so i'm just asking you to find and correct the error in this javascript code let's run it i think it should be good yeah amazing stuff your yeah, google's models are quite good at coding i have always found out that so you see it has not only fixed it but also it says that explanation of the error and correction example usage is there so always good stuff with google's model i um, i think i'm quite confident there so all in all a real good model in 8 billion size and would be really amazing to just use them locally but then we have jamma for that so that's it guys i will drop the link to it in video description play around with it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching